Do you, do you like it as a move for him? Because, you know, he would have had some options, maybe the overtime elite league or, or other um, options around the world. Do you like this as a decision from him? I think from a dev- development standpoint, it's phenomenal for him. I mean, it's, it's going to be challenging. Um, you know, he's going to be tested every single night. It's a very physical league, the NBL. He's not the most physical player. But um, in terms of addressing the things that he needs to work on, I think this is going to be a, a great step for him. Um, you know, if he can, he's going to be able to get on the court and, you know, and, and show people really what he's all about because NBA teams, they follow the NBL. I mean, it's, and so they're, everybody will be keeping tabs on what he's doing out there. Uh, as someone who's kind of watched him uh, over the last few years, um, I think the fans of these clubs here, when they get a signing of, of these young type of guys, you know, whether it's a, a Mo King or a Josh Giddy or a Justinian Jessup, um, or in this case, this guy, they, they, their immediate thought is, well, is he going to help our team? Is he going to help us win? Like Jessup is, is doing right now for the Hawks. Uh, do you see him at any point being that kind of guy for the 36ers? I think it's going to be a transition for him. I think he'll have some challenges. Um, on the defensive end, especially, it's a very unforgiving league, the NBL, especially at that center position. And so, you know, just things like covering ground and space, defending pick and roll, um, you know, it's a, it, all the bigs are very physical. You'll be going up against, you know, Colton Iverson and, mm. you know, John Mooney and, you know, Cam Oliver. I mean, you know, these guys all are going to present unique challenges for him you know any player that age I think is going to have a a transition especially a guy like that who just hasn't played very much professional basketball but I do think that he's talented enough to to overcome that and you know and emerge as a contributor as the season moves along I think he's going to score you know um but I mean I, I think a guy like like Harry Frawling, you know, that might be like a comparison. You know, like that's the type of player that I think Adelaide fans can expect to get, like a younger version of him.